Hello and welcome to day four of our social media video series, Social Media for Small Business. Thank you for joining us today as we continue to learn about different ways to effectively connect with our target audience. So far, we've covered the benefits of using Facebook, YouTube and video marketing and Twitter. Today we'll be discussing effectively using Pinterest to boost your company's visibility and audience engagement. I'm very excited to share with you some information, tips and tricks about Pinterest as it's my favorite form of social media. Without any further hesitation, let's dive in. First of all, what is Pinterest? If you don't already know, Pinterest is basically a virtual corkboard for images and videos. These images and videos link back to the site that they were originally pinned from. Pinterest is based on the discovery and organization of other people's content, which makes it an awesome way for you to share your content and have other people share it. Visual assets are the most valuable part of a Pinterest pin, along with a short description of what it links back to. Like a real-life pin board, Pinterest virtual pin boards focus mainly on visual content for initial appeal. So now you know what Pinterest is, let me share something amazing with you. Pinterest drives more web traffic to other sites than Google+, LinkedIn, and YouTube combined. What does this mean for you? It means generating traffic for your website. How can you use Pinterest to do this? Let me share a few examples. You can use Pinterest to create a board that showcases your portfolio of work and link each piece back to your website. You can use it to showcase your product catalog and link each item back to your website. If you include blog posts on your website, you can use Pinterest to link back to your blog posts and generate more traffic to your site. You can even host pinning contests, which really amps up your customer engagement. How can you host a pinning contest? Well, there are many ways to go about it. My favorite is to ask users to first follow you on Pinterest and then have them create a pin board named with your brand name and pin their five or ten, however many you choose, favorite items from your website. The key is to offer a prize to the winner. A gift certificate to your business is my favorite idea of a prize to offer. So now that you know some ways that you can use Pinterest, what are some tips and tricks? Keep in mind that images and videos are the most powerful part of your pin boards. Always use something that's eye-catching with a relevant description. Your name on Pinterest should be your brand name, but using a photo of yourself instead of your company logo adds a great personal touch. Your description about you needs to include who you are, your business name, what you do, and why people should follow you. For example, if I was creating one for a local pizza delivery restaurant, I could say, we're a family-owned and operated business founded in 1985 that creates award-winning pizza and other Italian favorites from scratch in our restaurant kitchen in Portland. Now, by doing this, I've created a description that lets people know who we are, what we do, and why someone would want to follow us. One last tip I'd like to share with you for using Pinterest is to keep it organized. Use separate boards for different categories of pins. If you can post engaging photos that link to quality content on your site, post frequently, and keep your Pinterest account organized, you'll create a dynamic campaign and have users repinning your pins over and over. Using Pinterest is a highly effective way to generate more traffic to your site and create more visibility for your company. It can be time consuming to manage your Pinterest account in an effective manner, but it's well worth it to the success of your business. Need help? Contact us today. We are experts on all things Pinterest. Stay tuned tomorrow to learn about using six second Vine videos to amp up your fan engagement.